Hello Pisces, this is going to be your reading for March 2022. I hope you're doing well, March 16th through the 31st. So let's see what's going on for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for March 15th through the 31st, or really the 16th through the 31st. But let's see, we have Moon in reverse, okay? So the Soul energy in reverse, that's my Two of Cups card. We also have the Four of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So are you guys breaking out with somebody or you guys fall out with somebody? That's coming up in your general, all right? We haven't even got to the love stuff. So some of you guys could have fell out with a Cancer or an Aries, Pisces. This could be a friend. It doesn't have to be a love situation, okay? Uh, keep in mind, if you want to see April 2022, if you want to skip ahead to April, you can do that by going in the description box below. Um, there is an April 2022 reading for Pisces already uploaded, okay? If you guys want to check it out. So let's see what's going on for Pisces general for pisces for the 16th to the 31st what is going on for pisces sun moon rising and venus what is going on for pisces let's see we have the sun Ooh. okay whatever is going on it looks like it's good but let's see leo energy front and center the star okay big dreams all right got big dreams Happy birthday to my sidereal Pisces, okay? Those who are resonating with Pisces energy under the sidereal zodiac. We have the six of cups here too. So your inner child is very happy this for the rest of the month, okay? I feel like you guys are finally taking up a hobby or you're finally starting something that your inner child has been wanting you to do for a while, okay? This could be a YouTube, okay? This could be an Instagram. It definitely looks like something where you're out in the public eye, all right. Um, and your inner child is so happy about this and thanking you for it. OK, now for some of you with the two of cups here in reverse, maybe there was someone around you who you didn't feel like you could accomplish this with. Like you felt like somebody didn't have your best interest or someone, you know, didn't encourage you. Um, or maybe you just didn't feel like this is someone that you could be your true self with. But either way, I feel like you are doing great, um, more so creatively. This is more so talking about your creative juices flowing, your sacral chakra, your solar plexus. This is talking about feeling genu genuinely happy with what you're doing with work. And if you're not, it's most likely because you're not using those creative abilities that you have, Pisces, and it's all work, work, work you know, nine to five, and you're not doing something creative that you like to do. So even if it's not for money, okay, even if it's not for, you know, a business, just create for the sake of creating, write, sing, you know, do the things that you like to do when you were younger, because that's really going to help improve your mood and also by, you know, default, improve your finances as well. So you might even find that you do start a business or create something out of just a hobby or a talent that, you know, grows into more okay so either way that's what i see for you right now with money it looks really good any advice for pisces general career life for pisces i also see like friends from the past returning but these would be friends that you're happy to see like maybe friends you haven't talked to in a really long time that really uh make you think about the good old days so you're very nostalgic but progressively so yeah the three of cups i really feel like some of you guys need to get together with some old friends get together with some friends like childhood friends specifically or people that you've known for a long time because i feel like this will help you these people are probably going to push you or tell you you know girl remember when you used to do this because you're, you're gonna be like i don't know what i should do i don't know what my talents are da, 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 da. your friends who've known you for a long time can tell you girl remember when you used to do this and da da da, da. So hang around people that you feel close to, people that celebrate you, people that lift you up, and people that will tell you that you can do anything you put your mind to. Because I feel like with the moon in reverse, again, like I said, there could have been someone around you or even could have been a job, uh, a, you know, a boss, something, someone around you who you didn't feel like you could be yourself or successful with. So um, that's the forecast for the 16th through the 31st for general and money for Pisces. Let's see what's going on for love. What's going on in your love life, okay? So far, I see Cancer, Aries, Leo, Aquarius, and Scorpio. So let's see what's going on for Pisces, for love, the 16th through the 31st of March. What's going on for Pisces, for love, please? What's going on for Pisces? We have the Empress. Ooh, okay, I love the Empress in this deck. It's my fav one of my favorite Empresses. So beautiful. Isn't she so pretty? I don't know. I just like her get up. I like her head thing. It just looks really nice. Okay. So got the Empress there. Let's 
let's see what else do we have for pisces what else do we have for pisces sun moon rising and venus what else do we have for pisces please we have the nine of swords okay someone is losing sleep about you someone is losing sleep about you could be a fire sign i mean i am getting leo here so let's see who is this person who's lo losing sleep about pisces Ooh, the seven of pentacles someone you this is someone you've known for a while someone you have history with okay um i would say seven years or longer but i mean the timing doesn't really matter because there's a lot of people watching but the seven of pentacles usually means that there's time and energy invested in this connection so it feels like someone you definitely already know like not like a new person that you just started dating but someone that you have a considerable amount of history with okay so yeah let's see let's clarify this nine of swords why is this person in their feelings about pisces Ooh, the five of swords because they're acting like they don't want to talk to you they're acting like you not talking to them um doesn't bother them but it does so they're putting up a front five of swords the page of cups i'm telling you this person wants to reach out could be another pisces this person feels like you're their happiness this reminds me of the of the reading where this person really believed that you two were soulmates um, I feel like this person could be growing, growing impatient because you're, you haven't reached out to them yet and they expected you to, or you haven't returned their phone call, you haven't returned their text and they expected you to. So this person feels a little frustrated because they thought that you guys had enough history, time, on again, off again, whatever you had going. They, they thought that there was enough of that to keep the, keep the connection going, but you're not here for it, especially for, especially the games, because if they really wanted to talk to you, they could just reach out to you and message you themselves. So the fact that they're playing these games, the fact that they're not even messaging you back, I mean, the fact that they're not even just like reaching out, that already tells you you don't want to deal with this. Like the Empress, it's so funny that this person sees you as the Empress because they have a lot of respect for you, but it's like they still play these childish games. They still play these childish games. Why is the Empress here? The Queen of Cups. Yeah, that's you, Pisces. They definitely think you are the empress. They think you're beautiful, attractive, gorgeous, mystical, healing, all that good shit. But they also feel like you're taking a break from their ass and you're not responding to them. You're not messaging them. You're, you're minding your damn business, okay? It could be a Virgo you're dealing with. Let's see. What's their next actions towards Pisces, please? The Seven of Swords wanted to come out. So right now, this person is going to be avoiding you. They're going to continue to avoid you. This reminds me of a Gemini's reading, I believe. They have a, sim a similar energy or was it Sag? I don't know. It could be Gemini or Sagittarius, one of those. But anyway, I feel like right now they're going to avoid you. This person might even be blocked. Like you might even block this person. So it's like they can't even reach out to you if they wanted to. And maybe they could find a way to talk to you. Maybe they could reach out to you another way, but they're, they're still not doing that either. With the Seven of Swords, it feels like they're kind of avoiding the situation right now. Could be an Aquarius that you're dealing with as well. Clarify the Seven of Swords, please. Clarify the seven of swords for Pisces. The knight of wands. Yeah, because this person still wants to be a fuck boy or a fuck girl. That's why they're avoiding reaching out to you anyway. So the eight of cups. So yeah, this person is self-sabotaging. They're out here being a thought pocket. They're also out here being emotionally unavailable. Um, they know that they're not good enough for you. They know like in this energy, I'm not saying they're not good enough for you, but they're not presenting you with something worthwhile. I mean, you're the empress the queen of cups and the knight of wands here that doesn't go together like you see how that doesn't go together and you see how your back is turned towards them in this queen of cups energy your turn toward uh your back is turned towards this person they're chasing you energetically and maybe even doing things to try to get your attention like this person could be posting things online to try to get your attention like t posting that they're out with the boys and all that stuff but it's not working like it's not getting to you and I think that's also bothering this person. That's why the Nine of Swords is here because they thought that usually it might trigger you. Usually you do message this person. Usually you do reach out. But you've got better things to do right now. You're, you're focused on something else and it's not this person. Okay, Queen of Cups. I'm trying to make sure you guys can see these cards. All right. So let's see. What is your message from your person? And then we're going to go ahead and move into April 2022 for Pisces. If you want to see April for Pisces, make sure you check out the link in the description box. Okay. Let's see. Ooh, we have fake love, exactly. And we have definitely a twin flame union. So your twin flame, your counterpart, your soulmate, whatever you want to call it, they're out here acting like they don't love you. And look, at the bottom of the deck, they don't know what they want. This person's immature as hell, page of cups energy for sure. 
So they're out here acting like they don't love you. And maybe you feel like this person shows fake love. You feel like this person shows a support and attention when they want something. And that's why I got this two of cups in reverse because you're not here for it anymore. And I feel like this is why you're thriving, why you're in a very positive energy right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and move into April 2022. I'll see you over there, Pisces. Thank you so much for your support. Please continue to like, share, and comment on my videos. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.